Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody, man? Welcome back once again. We're on this thing, man. Looking at Down by the River by Neil Young. All right, so I feel like I've seen this album cover more than once, so I don't know if the songs I've reacted to are off this cover or off this album, I should say, or if this is just the still image they use for the background. But this one right here is a donation request coming via Buy Me A Coffee, so thank you so much for supporting the channel on that way. Let's go ahead and read it off, man. It says, Hi, Sean. Neil Young with his band Crazy Horse from 1969. The song is Down By The River. The time is 9 minutes, 18 seconds. This is a 2009 remastered version. I'm pretty picky about sound quality, so I'm really happy that a lot of the great artists have done these remasters. Not sure if you've done this one. I don't think you have. I haven't done this one. Down By The River is not uh, one that has been on this channel yet that I've heard. Um, so I found it straight off your channel, Ginny. We've got it right here. Whenever you have time, it's okay with me. Keep on rocking on, bro. Ginny, yo, appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive in check this one out man we got quite a bit to chew off here i'm excited check it out man um i couldn't tell you exactly which songs i've done from this album it's like i want to rack my memory but it's just easier for you guys to check the channel and see which neil young i have here but like i said if this is off this album definitely heard some stuff let's hop into this one before we hit that play man don't forget like subscribe check out that description if you're enjoying the channel description host ways that you can request your own donation request and subscribing is awesome man so let's go ahead and hit that play man here we go they built up on this is awesome though But I can't get the idea out of my head, the one note solo.
bass is riding too. That's a beat to it.
that, Neil. That's messed up. That's messed up. That's messed up. Scary song, man. Scary song. Just because I watched a little YouTube documentary uh, recently about a man who actually built his little shelter down by a river and then uh, he did some bad things. Um, yeah, he uh, burned up his house with, with his family and hid out by the river. So this song was making me think bad things like, oh, man, why you got why you going to do that? Um, so you got Neil Young right here. Nine over nine minutes, they kept me grooving, man. Over nine minutes, I didn't get tired of the beat that's happening here. It's just fun. It's groovy, and it's definitely, in my opinion, a smoke song, man. Because um, I didn't smoke for a very long period of time in my life, but when I did, I liked a long song that you could just kind of vibe with for a while, man. Because it might take you a little bit to get through that J or whatever you might be using a bowl, you know, your your bong, whatever you're using. But it definitely made me think smoke music, man. Um, it's good music, man. It's vibing. Uh, it sounds like at the beginning he's talking about, you know, we could be having ups together. We could be living our best times together. But instead, you want to make it difficult. We have these complications, this communication breakdown. Things are so turbulent for us. Um, then he gets to the reveal that down by the river he shot his baby. So when he kind of repeats those verses later, it made me... Think about the situation differently where he's talking about he's there alone but we could be doing these things together when now he's there alone because he shot his baby down by the river right so um he's now alone in this world he's alone in his life and just think about what could have been almost like if you would have treated me better if we would have had this relationship now i think he is <clears throat> the narrator of the song or the singer of the song the person in the song he's a little psychotic okay for t for taking somebody's life um and then, in my opinion, kind of just putting it in in their mind, painting this picture like we could have had this good life together, but it's your fault, you know. But giving me my Eminem vibes because that's usually how Eminem songs go, right? He's he's psycho. He does bad things, but it's always someone else's fault that he's doing these bad things. Uh, it's never hit. It's never something inside himself. But let's let's be honest. There's a lot of people like that in the world today, man. Uh, song was kind of crazy, man. Kind of crazy. It made me think a little bit about another song. I want to check if there's any relation. Nah, so no relation. I was thinking of Talking Heads, Take Me to the River. I reacted to that one before, and I was like, man, is there any relation? Because I was like, man, I could see them drawing inspiration from this song for Talking Heads, honestly, with certain sections, man. Um, while we're on that talk topic, before I move on Talking Heads, you might have wondered why the reaction stopped to the live versions. Uh, I was going to do Studio Plus Live, but apparently that concert that I was told to check out uh, and keep diving into, there's like only a few videos off that concert on youtube not even the whole concert so just to clear that up for anyone that might be tuning in that was watching that series as well let's learn more about down by the river all right we got down by the river right here indeed off of everybody knows this is nowhere um and it was the b-side for cinnamon girl this was released by neil young and the crazy horse uh in 1969 okay and we got the album version right here dude the single version is three minutes 35 seconds they cut out practically six minutes of this song that is crazy that is crazy although i guess a lot of it is just kind of ju just like a repeating dope beat riff to just dive into and enjoy man that really builds up the character of this song i really enjoy that but i guess you could cut a lot of that out and shrink it down but man it's not necessary man i like that they call this proto grunge i love that uh neil young as a songwriter on this one it says the lyrics tell the story of someone who killed his lover by shooting her after feeling unable to continue from the emotional highs of their relationship young himself has provided multiple explanations for the lyrics in an interview with robert greenfield in 1970 a year after the song was released young claimed that there's no real murder in it it's about blowing your thing with a chick it's a plea a desperate cry Later, when introducing the song in New Orleans on September 27, 1984, Young said that the song depicts a man who had a lot of trouble controlling himself, who catches his woman cheating on him, then meets her down by the river and shoots her. According to Young, the local sheriff comes to the man's house and arrests him a few hours later. So it sounds like Neil's kind of flip-flop with the meaning. 
of it at one point saying no it wasn't real murder and then at one point saying indeed it was real murder i don't ever condone that man if your chick cheated on you or your dude cheated on you move on move on there's no woman worth losing your life for in this kind of sense now protecting sure right we want to take a bullet for our loved ones that's a whole different thing but to put somebody down because they cheated on you man i understand there's going to be some true heartache and some 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 really unbearable emotions man but don't throw it all away look for your next high man look for the person who's going to love you properly and who you can love properly and you guys can enjoy something together i just don't i haven't been there so i'm speaking before the heartache okay so i understand if there's people who've been through that clearly if you're watching this i don't think you've done anything like this but i'm just saying i in my state of mind right now in a clear state of mind right without emotions attached to it i just don't think it's worth losing it for anybody man um i understand loving somebody deeply but if they're gonna do you dirty like that well then why you did they didn't love you don't love them back cut it off man try to try to move on from that that is rough to think about and uh, i hate to hear bad things in life that have happened and that's why i avoid the news because there's really stuff like this happening in the world every day man it's crazy all right well thank you for this one it was a dope rocker of a song i definitely enjoyed the riff the beat on this was fun to just take a nice little mellow ride out on man um it was awesome like i said the, the lyrics are pretty deep i like to imagine it's more metaphor right i shot her down by the river maybe you just let her have it man maybe you tore into her uh verbally and just let your emotions show that's more acceptable that's more acceptable and you just whatever man i'm, I'm done with you technically you're dead to me right i won't ever think about you i don't ever want to see you again that's a better way to think about it for me all right so thank you guys for tuning in here today man what a rocker right here with neil young and crazy horse thank you guys for rocking out man and i'll see you on the next one if you guys are enjoying this channel and the content i produce please consider liking subscribing checking out the description becoming a member here on my youtube or patreon great way to support me thank you guys so much see you on the next one peace